Hey everybody, Susan Vincent's here and welcome back to my channel. And in today's tech tip video, we are going to talk about Google Keep, one of my favorite organizational tools to help me go paperless and it can help you go paperless also. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what Google Keep is, what mine looks like and what I use it for and um, how you can incorporate it into your day-to-day -day life, whether you're an educator or whatever you do from day to day. So stay tuned and we're gonna take a look at Google Keep. See you soon. So here we are in Google Keep. So Google Keep is an app in the Google Workspace for Education suite of products. Many of you, if you have a Google account, if you come over here to your waffle menu and drop down that waffle, it will be down here somewhere in that list. You can also get to Google Keep by just simply going to keep.google.com. So once you sign in, sign in with your Google account, you'll have this big empty white screen. So if you want to start taking notes, you can create a note just simply right here on top of the page on your computer. So I can put to-do list for Monday. And then I can make my list of you know, visit campus A, meet with teacher B, staff meeting at campus C, and so on, keeping listing your items that you need to do that day. So I can do various things here. If I use my little dotted menu here, I can add check boxes. So then I can check off my items as I do them or put them back on as I need to. I also have a color palette here, so I can make this whatever color I choose to make it, um, just like I would a little sticky notepad. One of my favorite tools here is being able to add an image. So as you notice, my different items here are in all different notes. I have all different colors and yes I have somewhat of a color coding system. You'll see my notes organization note here. And then I like to add images just as a header more or less for a title. So notice I have my weekly to-do items so I just found an image on Google Images and added it on there. To-do list. This is my own to-do and follow-up for my own personal thing, my notes organization, um, I'm working on training for Nearpod videos and such as that, so I have that image up here. So I have my note here, and if I want to add an image, I'm just going to go to the little picture frame icon, click the icon, and then I'm going to go find an image. So here I was playing with these YouTube images earlier, so I'm going to click on my YouTube file, click open. And then it adds the image on top there. I can hit close. And then I have a nice, organized, to me anyway, way of finding all of my notes. And as I scroll through, I can quickly figure out which notes I'm looking for as I go along. One of my other favorite tools here on Google Keep is that I can add labels. So if I want to add labels of things for school, for personal, shopping, things like that, family, I can add a label to this, much like I would create folders in my email. So for example, if I want to add a label to this, I can just simply click the three dots, click add label, and I would maybe make this video recording. Hit create, and then it has a label. So now, if I want to quickly find a note, because there's no really organization here on this main screen, but if I create several labels, now I can go to my video recording, and all of my notes that I label as video recording are going to come up under that label. I can edit my labels here at any time, and then I can go back to my notes. So that's just a quick, easy way to organize. So I use Google Keep in a couple of, actually three different Google accounts. And the nice thing about this is 
some of these notes I need to have access accessible in all three of my accounts. So for example, my list here for videos needed for teachers, I need that available in here in my Tech Imaginations account that I use for my YouTube channel. But I also need it available for my school account and I like to have it for my personal account just in case I need to access it from wherever I am. So I do have the ability, just like on a Google Doc or a Google Slide or a Sheet, to add collaborators so I can share this with people. So if I click my little icon here at the bottom of the page that looks like a little person at the bottom of each one of my notes here, or I can open the note completely, and then I can share that with whoever I need to. So the owner here is my Tech Imaginations email, but if I want to add my school email, I can just simply type that in, click it, hit save. Now that will be saved with my school email, and I will be able to see that note on my Google Keep account for that Google account. So I can also have the ability to share notes. So this is handy for when you need to collaborate and add notes, or if you just need to share things with yourself. So on my personal Google account, we have a shopping list. We also have um, a, a check temporary check registry. So that way when we use our debit card, or in the rare instances we write a check, we also have a shopping list that we have shared between my husband and I so that we can both see it if we're going to the store or if we just need to add something real quick when we run out of it in the kitchen. So check out Google Keep. There is also an app on your phone or for your mobile device, whether you're an iPad user, an Android tablet, Android phone, iPhone, what have you. So check out Google Keep and see how you can use it to keep yourself organized. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and I'll be happy to assist. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.